Hello my viewers. I got a, an email asking me to do a video showing what you can do if you don't actually have the proper run capacitor. Um, I think I don't understand what he means. Let's say for example you have a, a 20 microfarad run capacitor and it's bad and you don't have a 20 microfarad run capacitor in the truck. What you can do is you can take a, a 5 and a 15 because you see 5 and 15 equals 10. As long as the voltage rating is the same, like 370 volts or higher, you need to make sure that the run capacitor that you are replacing is indeed the proper rating. You need, and to find that out, look at the motor. And a lot of times it'll tell you what the microfarad and the voltage is. Because you never know, okay, if another tech was there before you, you never know what they may have thrown in there. Let's say you have a 20 microfarad run capacitor. And it needs to be replaced because it's bad. And, oh, what to do if you don't have one in your truck? Well, there is a solution, providing you have a good collection of run capacitors on your truck. Uh, naturally, one of them would be to uh, just have a Turbo 200 in your truck or something like that. that you can make it just about anything you want. But if you don't have any Turbo 200 run capacitors in your truck, and let's say you have a whole bunch of 5s and, and uh, 15s or whatever, all sorts of different um, uh, ratings. You can actually connect more than one run capacitor together. And I'm going to show you how you can do that. Okay, to play along, all you need is an assortment of run capacitors, a multimeter that will read uh, microfarads, and a couple pieces of wires with uh, some stakons on them. So, Let's, like I said before, what if you have a run capacitor, say a 20 microfarad at 370 volts, that has gone bad. And you need to replace it, but you do not have one on your truck. Of course, if you have a 20 microfarad at 440 volts, that would work, but let's say you don't even have that. Well, the first thing you need to do is be sure that the motor that you are replacing the run capacitor to is indeed rated for the run capacitor that you are replacing. Now, like I said, what if you don't have a 20, but you do have, say, a 15 and a 5? Okay? Because you see 15 plus 5 is 20. See? It's just a little bit of addition involved here. So what you can do in this case, okay, you see, you see that this is a 15 at 370 and this is a 5 at 370 volts. So what you can do in this case is you can take one wire, connect it to one of the terminals on one of the run capacitors, then take the other end of the wire and connect it to the a terminal on the other run capacitor like that, okay? Then take the other wire and connect to the other terminal right there like that and then the other side of this wire can go to that terminal. So you see that give you an idea what it looks like, okay? So this is all you've really done. Now now to test this, we'll put the multimeter on microfarad setting right here. And we'll take probes. We've got two probes here. Right now I have my probes on uh, one on one terminal and one on the other on the larger run capacitor, which is a 15, but as you can see, we're getting 20.5. So you see we're we're good to go. Now we have a 
what would equal a 20 microfarad run capacitor. It's pretty simple really. It's just a matter of a little bit of addition. I mean you could do this with any size run capacitors. Now remember though if your motor does require a 440 volt run capacitor the run capacitors that you are combining will have to be rated for 440 volts as well. Okay, is this a practice that I would uh, do on a regular basis? Well, not really. This is something that you really only want to do in a pinch. Uh, you're really better off to uh, have the right run capacitor. But let's say, for example, it's uh, Sunday afternoon and uh, you're trying to get it, somebody's air conditioner going for them and you don't have the right run capacitor but you could make it work but it would be good at least they'll have some air in the meantime until you can get back and uh, replace the run capacitor with the right one okay thank you